What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got another What's in the Box video for you. Today we're looking at a Mobius 1967 F100 service bed truck, the Ford service box. Um, this, uh, th it's a heavy box. I'm looking forward to this kit. I've had it for quite a while. Wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I had this idea that um, I'm going to attach it to uh, a trailer. This is one of those um, old monogram uh, trailers. It comes with the comes with the cool uh, fuel tanks, and uh, there's a character and some other cool stuff. And then I load it with um, this this cool Ravel Cobra, so that'll be riding on the back of the trailer, being pulled by the service box racing. Not sure exactly what livery or whatever, but it will probably be a blue. I'll be doing, going with a blue. But uh, this will be my first ever Mobius build. I've been inside of them before and looked, uh, and they, they look to be f fantastic kits. Um, just stellar quality. So um, we're going to crack this thing open, and I'm looking forward to doing the build on it. It'll be next in line after I do the Cobra. Uh, I've got a unboxing. No, no, I don't. I didn't really do an unboxing for that one. I did more of a comparison to the, uh, what, the AMT? Or no, uh, monogram? Yeah, I think it was a monogram Cobra. Wow, this thing, is, it's packed. You can just feel it. Come on, get out of here. Wow. It's <laughs> There's no way that stuff will ever go back in the box the way it came out. There's an absolute puzzle in the way they do these. But we will go through this and take a look at it. Uh, right away, first thing I can see here, you know what, this is just going off camera. Not only for the manuals, they're not only full color, but they're, wow, just. Great photographs, full detail photographs of the finished build. Stellar markings and steps of how things go together. Uh, you know, exploded views of sequences of how things get assembled. Pretty nice stuff. And then the color chart on the back, if you wanted to do it box stock and go for the actual i believe those are actual ford colors uh and then i noticed one of the other mobius kits i did there is an extra parts list so there is stuff in here that you won't use don't you know not necessarily don't need it but it's uh they're, they're a good company i'm really looking forward to this build let's take a look at the decal sheet here Okay, so you have uh, an electrical, electrician logo, Mercury Electric, residential, commercial, and then your uh, air cleaner stickers and instrument cluster license plates, uh, some badging, the Ford icon logos, auto lights, good looking decals. Okay, so we will go... I was about to get through. Let's uh, just go right to the cab. And I am taking them completely out of the plastic because this will be this is next in line to be built right after the Cobra. Wow, it feels like good plastic. Feels nice and solid. I don't see any ugliness to it. A slight little ripple there, but that, that'll sand out, it looks like, that'll prime. Really good details, nice crisp markings on the moldings. Uh, the Like to make that chrome won't be hard at all if you wanted to go that route. As well as it's nice and thick, you could just shave that completely off. So, good looking body. This looks like it will be parts of the box, chassis perhaps. Yeah, it looks like that's the box bottom. It's got a nice 
diamond plate texture. Uh, rear of the box, the tail lights. Looks like a little, the little teeny tailgate, a little half size. Box sides, really nice markings. Um, I was curious. I wonder how hard it's going to be to cut one of those open. I don't know. I may or may not get into that. Uh, immediately looks like this would probably be the logical one. But because the, the ones on the sides, there's nothing for it to hang on to. There's no hinge there for it to open. Same with this one. If it opens, there's no, there's nothing left to show on the opening side. Whereas this one, if you chop it there and it folds down, you know, you could put a couple items there for a display. So we'll see how far I get into that. Nice. The frame is one solid piece by itself. You know, but it definitely ensures that, not ensures, but uh, more likely that it's not going to be bent. Looks like it's in good shape. The axle or the drive line connected to that. Mm, looks like more box parts, ends or something. I'm not exactly sure. Mm, I, I do know the ones, the pictures I've seen and the comments that I've heard. The Mobius kits are really nice to work with. I guess the new ramp truck apparently had some warpage on it, but all these parts look really nice. I mean, the steelies, the uh, suspension tailgate. It looks really crisp. Nice details. Same with the hood. It's got uh, it's got the Ford letters on the front and they're kind of raised a little bit so that'd be nice to nice and easy to pull out chrome or whatever color you wanted to do looks like gas tank and floor pan uh, seat and door cards also really nice detail i mean not a lot of detail but it's there it's very prominent those handles stick out it's gonna paint up really nice you know, not that there was a lot of pop or anything on the interior of a work truck, but that center section of the door card will look really nice, painted just a subtly different color. So we got some engine and transmission. Looks like there's, oh, very cool. Diorama bonus. Two transmission options. Looks like you have a, a automatic and a, a, a four speed. That's very cool. Very cool. Yes, yes, yes. And then there's the pulleys and the fan. That's a Ford fan. Are you a Ford fan? Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. I can't resist. <laughs> More engines, uh, components. Oil pan, exhaust, uh, exhaust manifolds. Looks like the carburetor, alternator, distributor. Sure, it looks like it'd be nice and easy to wire that. <coughs> Very, <coughs> excuse me, thick details. Hmm, so we have another wheel option. You know, as I, as I pointed out, it said there's parts that you won't use. Oh, okay, cool. It looks like it's got, for the two different transmission options, it also has, that's got a locking hub on the front. The front axle, it's got a little, you have to get out and lock it. That's pretty cool. Nice little attention to detail. Um, some heads, steering wheel. What's that? What's that? Coil? Oil filter. I already did that. I already did. No, we didn't do that. It's the back of the tailgate and the block. Hmm, that's cool. Blocking the transmission, those are two totally separate parts. You don't see that very often. Usually you just get, you know, whatever the TH350 is or whatever, the generic. Okay, so we have five of one option. Huh. So you spare, I guess. Axles, transaxle. Wait, is this a four-wheel drive or no? Yes. 
Yes. Huh. Or it can be, I bet. That's part of the parts that you may or may not use. Nice big brake booster. It'll also be really easy to um, put uh, lines in it. Especially since it's already halved. You pre-drill your hole and glue it together and then put your lines in. Uh, leaf rings and I'm not sure. What is that? The... Huh. That's some sort of cowling or is that... Uh, Sunshade, sun visors. Okay. We'll see. Oh wow, really nice details on the dashboard. Thick, really thick knobs. Really stick out. That's gonna look nice. I haven't seen any flash or short shots or any, you know, any ugliness. All looks really nice. Very nice. Look at one of these tires here. There's five of them. Oh, it's got a little uh, sidewall bulge to it. Oh gosh, I wonder if you could stretch those even more to put on a stance car. <laughs> I just can't leave well enough alone. Uh, that's a good looking tire, no name. That sidewall is a little thick. It's a little tall. Yeah. Uh, rear parts, front and rear windows, side quarter glass, uh, headlights, turn markers, brake lights, and lastly, the chrome bits. Two different trees. Oh, wow. Wow, it looks great. That chrome looks really good. A little black wash, that's going to look fantastic. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you got some cool stalker hubcaps. And then for the four-wheel drive, I left the center open. So you can put the uh, locking hub through that. That's nice. Very nice attention to detail. Good chrome valve covers. Looks really good. Kind of like on par with like the Ravel stuff. The chrome just looks amazing. Like, I won't really do much black wash to that at all. Well, eh, depending on how much aging I want to do. A couple different mirror options. Looks like three. You've got a, a really stock street. Um, and then a larger and then a medium, uh, like, tow mirrors. And then another valve cover option. Chrome windshield wipers and little inserts and whatnot. So, that about does it. The, uh, what, what was this? <laughs> Mo Mobius. Service box. Service bed. Uh, that would be my idea. It's the race, race team. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and all that nonsense horse hawkery. We'll see you in the next one.